Hi guys and welcome back. This week we're learning all about levers. We learned about the first, second, and third class lever. The first class lever has the fulcrum in the middle. The second class lever has the load in the middle. And the third class lever has the effort in the middle. Your assignment for this week is to build yourself a lever at home using things around your house. You can build yourself a first, second, or third class lever, or you can build all three if you want. I'm gonna go around my house and see what I can find. Follow me. Hmm, let's see. Ah, this will work. Hmm, yes, this is perfect. Hello, Mr. Plant. I need you as well. Okay, I am all set up and ready to go. I have my load, my plant, that I'm going to try to move. I have my lever, my bar right here. I'm using a cutting board. And then I have my fulcrum under here. I have a little spice container. So as you can see, my fulcrum's in the middle. My lever, my board is flat, it's straight. So when I put my load on this side, it should bring this side down. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my load. I'm gonna gently place it here and oh, look at that. It is down on that side. Now, if I push and put effort or force down on this side, my load should go up on this side. Let's see if it works. If I gently push on this side, my load goes up and it's pivoting on my fulcrum and then down it goes. Awesome, I made a first class lever and it was a success. Now it's your turn. I want you to send me a video over Flipgrid or Google Classroom of you making an at-home lever. In your video, you need to explain to me the different parts of your lever and how it works. You also need to classify your lever as a first, second, or third class lever. Good luck. 